All right, here we are rolling down the road in the 2014 Lexus IS250. Gonna need some gas here real soon. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but um, yeah, it's running pretty good. I don't think I gave an update since I uh, started driving her. But what I wanna find out is does this vehicle that quote requires premium fuel actually act different, differently um, on regular fuel so i'm going to do a fill up and do a test with premium and then do oh there's something on the side of the road here i better get left and then do a fill up with with regular and do a test and see if we notice anything different so um Right now, I am getting 28.7 with my regular commute, um, using mostly, mostly premium for the past um, couple hundred miles, the past couple months, probably past couple thousand miles. And yeah, since reset, it's been mostly premium, getting me that 28.7 miles per gallon. And I've got to say, in the past, I, I really didn't notice any difference for. Um, as far as performance and any I didn't notice anything peculiar going on with the engine um, even though like I said it quote requires a premium so I'm gonna head to a gas station if I can make it and fill up with premium and reset this and show you what happens uh, after that tank so here we are made it to the gas station with one mile to spare, or so it says. So there we go, filled her up until she clicked. The gauge should be full now. It still says one mile it always does that but yep our gauge is our gauge is full I'm gonna go ahead and reset this and actually I'm not seeing where I can see the exact um, the exact you know like a trip I'm not seeing where I can reset that so perhaps this model doesn't have the exact trip so we'll just have to go off of what the odometer says because I wanted to calculate it for myself as well instead of just trusting this computer because I hear they're not always um, exactly or accurate to whatever's happening in the tank but all right so let's roll all right so now we've been rolling for a bit that number's still pretty low but um you know it's starting to calculate a number <laughs> but um that's probably just because i've only been driving a little bit and um i got stuck inching along through a construction zone which is uh wonderful so um we'll see what that number gets to be after after um after i run this tank a premium which i don't expect it to change a whole lot because like i said that's what i've been pretty much running and I'm going to go through my usual commute here, which is mostly mostly this kind of highway driving, 55 on a secondary highway, a two-lane, or whichever you consider that. Um, and, you know, it's, it, it's some of it's straight like this, and then there's definitely mountains involved. So it's, a, it's not exactly, you know, 100% highway driving, but it's definitely not city driving, you know. There's a couple red lights and a couple stops here and there, and I get caught behind a truck every now and then, or a school bus or something, so, um, you know, it's not totally highway, but it's, it's, it's um, definitely far from city. So, um, yeah, that 28.7 that I've been getting is, is pretty impressive, in my opinion. This car is EPA estimated for, I think, what 21 city and 30 highway some somewhere around there so um the fact that i am getting pretty close to highway is, is pretty impressive impressive in my opinion um and uh yeah it, it it runs all right um a little push to it for a little motor um you know pretty responsive you know it, it, it's a little 
a little V6, so therefore that makes sense why it's, you know, got good throttle response, um, being the V6, but it, it, it's, um, it's not super fast, you know, around, around town and stuff and up the hills, but when you open it up, it, it, it really, um, reacts to that, and I, I love the transmission on this as opposed to, um, you know, just some of the cheaper cars, this transmission just knows which gear to go into right away, right when you put the pedal down, and it goes there and it pushes, um, you know, a lot of the Dodges and Chevys that I'm, I've driven, you know, you kind of, you put the gas down, pedal down, and, um, it just, uh, it just goes into one gear, and, you know, carries along, and then finally goes into lower gear, and then, you know, and it bangs around when it does it too, but definitely the, the luxury car, the, the Lexus really, uh, you know, Toyota really did some good engineering with that one, I'm pretty pleased with that compared to my other cars. So yeah, that's my little spiel on driving the Lexus since I haven't given you one, and and um, we'll see how that uh, how this reacts, um, you know, on premium, and then we'll see how it reacts on a tank of regular. So here we are on the Lexus after almost a whole tank of premium, and I actually am averaging the same, you know, very similar 28.8 miles per gallon. Um, and yeah, it, it ran fine, obviously, with premium, um, you know, I didn't notice a super gain in performance, you know, but it, um, you know, it, it, it ran fine, it ran normal, and the mileage is right about the same, or, well, it's showing the same right now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head up to the gas station here and, uh, fill up with some regular, and then I'll show you what happens. I'll show you if the mileage goes way down, or if, um if the performance goes way down or if the well now we're down to 20 weight point seven because i've been sitting at the red light but um yeah if anything weird happens i'll i'll let you know and i'll show you you know just exactly what kind of mileage it gets after that so yeah let's head to the gas station and fill up Okay, filled up with, you know, mostly regular gas there now. Get it running. And we're going to reset that. And now let's drive and see if it behaves any differently with the regular unleaded gas. All right, so we hit the highway. Um, so far, nothing weird happening. That number's still being calculated, you know, still finding its average. And, uh, you know, I just sped up, so I don't expect it to be um, very high yet. But, um, yeah, so far, nothing weird happening. I'm going to drive this tank out, and then once that gets, you know, near the end, I'll give you an update, and I'll tell you if anything weird happened, and I'll show you where the mileage is at. Okay. Okay, so here we go after one tank of regular, and um, it actually did not get quite as good gas mileage. Um, I'm at about 28.0, which I'd say would probably be about right with my experience with using it before. It went down to like 28.2, you know, uh, with using regular um, in the past after using some premium with, you know, after that reset. So that, that would probably make sense. And, um, you know, I'm pretty much doing the same driving a little bit of four lane mostly two lane um and yeah and it is a little bit colder but it's not drastically colder than the other tests the other tests have been well uh, the other test has been done uh you know with highs of 55 or 60 out now it's a uh, today's 53 it's 53 right now so it's not like it's that much different but um yeah, it, it ran fine. I didn't notice a loss in power or anything like that. Um, and I didn't notice any knocking or anything weird going on with the engine. So, um, and you know, the computer should have been uh, adjusted to the premium fuel if, if it does that. I don't know if it does or not, but if it, if, if, it does, if it does adjust to the premium, it should be adjusted and, you know, programmed itself to the to uh, handle the premium and then I went and put the regular in it and it it didn't really do anything drastic like I said like um, but yeah mileage went down you know a little bit um, but I'm not sure that th that justifies paying the extra 60 cents a gallon for it if we're talking about being economical here but um, 
But yeah, so there you have it in my car, my 2014 Lexus IS 250. Um, the, the tank of regular gas ran just fine, caused no issues, but the mileage did go down just a little bit. So there we go.